Senators urged the federal government to take proactive measures to tackle the escalating food insecurity in the country as a matter of urgency. This followed a motion sponsored by Senator Sunday Karimi and co-sponsored by Senator Ali Ndume during Senate preliminary. Our correspondent, Awesome Raffel, has details. The call comes amidst skyrocketing prices of food items in the country exacerbating hardship for vulnerable populations already grappling with economic uncertainties. Raising the motion, Senator Karimi, representing Kogi West Senatorial District, expressed concern over the worsening food crisis in the country despite efforts of government to arrest the consistent food inflation. Aware that the market price of food items such as beans, maize, rice, paddy, yam, tomatoes, and onions, which initially rose by about 40% after the removal of petroleum subsidy has now increased to over 100%, some to 300%, without any attributable reason for the increase in prices. Senators from across party lines emphasize the critical need for proactive measures to safeguard the country's food supply. The legislators underscored the gravity of the issue, highlighting the widespread implications of food scarcity on millions of Nigerians. As it is now, a bag of rice is selling at about 100,000. A bag of maize, the same thing. Even prices of tomatoes, onions, and other basic food is high. Distinguished colleagues, as representatives of the people, we need to do something or at least say something. That's why I co-sponsored this motion and I believe all of us here are concerned because we are talking to one another. Let's do something. Whatever we all need to do at our various uh, uh, um, um, senatorial districts or in our social relationships and even economic relationships we must at all times see that we add value to the efforts put in place to reduce if not to eliminate completely the issue of banditry, the issue of kidnapping, the issue of, I mean, all the issues that have contributed to the low level of food production in Nigeria. Mr. President, I so uh, um, um, contribute. If we don't take immediate action and our citizens under this situation of increased fuel price, increased electricity price, increase everything, and we are yet to get the right measures to provide cushions for our citizens. We wouldn't like the kind of thing that we see in our streets. And it is time that we take every possible action together with the executive arm of government to ensure that food flood our country, the right food, importation, government must be entirely responsible because we cannot, we cannot take people for granted for too long. We have come almost to the end of their patience. President of the Senate, Senator Godswill Apabio, who commended the move of the motion, highlighted that food insecurity followed the prevalent security challenges in the country. I'm saying that this is an emergency. The food situation is an emergency. We must help our people. And part of it is also to make sure it's not just providing food today, it's being able to plant to make sure that latest October, November, we have excess food in the market because Nigerians must feed. Everybody's concerned. The primary role of government is to ensure the welfare and security of the citizens. And that is the reason why we are here. With public pressure mounting, all eyes are now on the federal government to deliver on its commitment to safeguard the nation's food security and alleviate the hardship faced by millions of citizens nationwide. Awesome Raffle, ADBN News.